a bruschetta. Yo, what is up, ADT and Austin Dunham back again with another video. So, I know you see the title. Today, we're gonna talk about why you probably suck at the handstand. So don't get offended by the title. I'm honestly just trying to help you out. And we're gonna discuss some things that you could probably improve on. And overall, if you do, it's gonna help you out. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, we gotta divide the handstand into two parts and you have to identify the issue. The first one is strength. The other one is technical balance. So you have to identify what your certain issue is. Is it a strength issue? And the reason you would know it's a strength issue is can I hold myself up for at least 30 seconds, like against a wall upside down? Do I have a problem with push-ups? Do I have a problem with pipe push-ups? All those will play into account if it's a strength issue. But to be honest, most people already have the strength. Instead, it's a technical issue or a balancing issue that a lot of people fall into trouble with. So once you identify which one you struggle at, that's where you can actually start seeing what you should do. So we're gonna mostly focus on the technical or balance issue in this video. All right, so the first reason why you probably suck at the handstand is because you have yet to identify what is your method and best method for getting into the handstand? So there are usually two options. The first one is doing a simple handstand on the ground with your palms on the ground. And the second one is either using push-up bars and or parallettes. So each one will kind of depend on the person. But for me personally, I've realized that I actually perform the handstand better when I'm on parallettes like this. So once you identify that, and that's gonna take some practice, like. Do some handstands on the ground, then grab some parallettes and see which one's easier for you, right? And then the second thing you need to realize is what is the best means for you getting into the handstand? So most people actually, they'll, they'll kick up, like do kick ups like this, right? But another thing I realized is that for me, it's easier if I press into the handstand. I have a way easier time balancing the handstand whenever I press into it instead of kicking up into it. So once you identify those two things, what is your means of balancing and what is your means of getting into it, that's when you can actually start practicing that style more and get even better at the handstand. All right, so with the handstand, besides just balancing, it's gonna be a lot easier if you don't have mobility restrictions. And that's another reason why you probably suck at it. So. There are two mobility things you gotta keep in mind. The first one is your wrist. If you find yourself not able to, being able to bend your wrist at a 90 degree easily, like this, so just hold your arm, push your finger straight back. If that doesn't hit 90 degrees easily, then you're probably gonna struggle with the handstand uh, more than you should. And the second thing is shoulder mobility, overhead shoulder mobility, right? Here's a test you can do. If you find your shoulders not being able to reach around your ear level, like let's say you're kind of like this and you can't bring it up anymore or you're just kind of stuck right there, then your handstand, once again, will be a lot harder than what it should be. So if you find this the case, what you should be doing is before every single training session, try some mobility drills for your wrists and also your shoulders to open them up a little bit more, right? So you can do stretches like this to kind of open a bit more. You can do band dislocates, so grab a band or a stick do band dislocates and honestly the more you practice the handstand the more mobile uh, you will be and the more your shoulders will open up but that is one thing to keep in mind and that's why I feel like I really really sucked at the handstand when I first started off is because I had mobility restrictions so another reason why you probably suck at the handstand is because you failed to understand the balancing dynamics with the handstand and how you can keep yourself actively uh, up or upside down balance while you're doing it so when you're doing a handstand you're not your wrists aren't just stable just standing there right if you watch how i do the handstand and anybody else the whole time the wrist is engaging like this or if you're on the ground like this trying to keep themselves balanced so i'll give you an example right here take a look at my wrist as i get into this the whole time my wrist is engaging trying to keep myself balanced right basically the whole time what that was going on when I feel my body falling backwards this way which is the way most people fall 
you have to press really, really hard on your fingertips, or if you're on bars, you have to do this motion right here, like press forward, in order to keep your body from falling. Now, if you do the opposite way, if you fall more towards that way in a handstand, then you have to press hard on your palms, or if you're on parallel bars, like this now, and basically constantly doing that will keep your body straight and in balance. Sometimes you're able to find just a an awesome sweet spot to where you don't even have to do any of that but most of the time your hands will be and your wrists will be moving the whole entire time so keep that in mind all right so another reason why you probably suck at the handstand is because you just simply cannot get over your fear of being upside down and you keep using the wall to practice now you know the wall is a good place to definitely learn it and to be honest get over your fear of being upside down but after a while the bird has to leave the nest and you gotta take flight and get over that fear of being upside down without the wall. And that's what I did. So once I got comfortable with being upside down on the wall, what I basically did was practice kickups the whole entire time. If you find yourself not being afraid to be upside down, start doing those kickups more often and actually take the time to practice before every single training session, right? The thing about the, the handstand is that it's so technical but you do get better at it over time and the more you practice it, unlike some other strength skills like planche and front lever. The handstand is something that you can practice literally six, seven times a week without kind of overtraining your body. So get over your fear. If you're using the wall and you're comfortable with it, get off the wall, practice some kickups and practice it more often. All right guys, those were probably all the reasons why you probably suck at the handstand. Take all those into account, and I promise you, your handstand is gonna get a lot, lot better. So don't forget to check out the resources down below, including the full workout programs to get strong with just your body weight. Subscribe if you're new, like, comment, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.